Now, Katie, you uh, got pretty creative last week with those song titles and courting them into the weather. What do you have for us this week? Oh man, guys, the pressure's on. I don't think I'm that clever this week, but we'll see what I got for you. <laughs> but currently right now across the state, you can see it's pretty summer-like out there. We're sitting at 81 here in Norman. As you can see, it's much cooler in the southeast portion of the state as there is some cloud cover over there. But as you can see where it has cleared up, they've gotten up to even like 91 in Guymon and 90 wood in Woodward. So it's very hot out there. But if you're heading out this evening, it still will be pretty warm by 6 p.m. We'll be at about 80 degrees. Still going to be a little breezy with those south winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And then by 9 p.m. and even by by midnight, you'll see we'll still have those partly cloudy conditions getting down to just about 70 degrees. Now, here's what I got for your weather headlines. Even though Halloween is a week <laughs> away, so I've got my picture of the pumpkin up there, but unfortunately, we're going to be seeing basically every season throughout this week. Early this week is going to be summer like, the middle is going to be fall, and then by late this week, it's going to feel more like winter. So, I'll let you guys know when and where you can experience Mother Nature's mood swings coming up in my full forecast just a little bit later. Guys? Thanks, Katie. Well, Oklahoma is starting to tease us again. I know. First it's hot. Then it's cold. Then hot again. Ugh, Katie, what is happening out there? Yeah, guys, it seems like typical Oklahoma weather here. It's always changing around, but right now it is feeling like summer. Our temperature's at about 81 degrees, and you've probably noticed it was very muggy out there. Our humidity right now sitting at 74%, and the winds were still just a little bit breezy today out of the south at about 12 miles per hour. Now, if you've been having trouble with allergies, it's going to continue. As you can see, for today, we had our mold spores, tree and grass in the moderate category, and the weed is still in the high category, so a lot of us are still having those allergy issues. Now, our rainfall totals from yesterday, we did get just a little bit around here. You can see we've got about two tenths of an inch here in Norman and seven tenths of an inch in Ardmore. So really nothing to help us with that drought. And speaking of which, we had an update of our drought monitor on Thursday. As you can see, much of the states in this yellow, which is about the severe drought category. And then we've got some extreme drought in the red and even exceptional, which is the highest category for the drought up there in northern Oklahoma. So we're still really needing that rainfall around here. And if you can see on that almanac, then you can see for this month, we're down just about three tenths of an inch. And for the year, we're still down getting up to almost four inches, but at least those temperatures, we are actually a little warmer. So if you like the warm conditions, they're still sticking around for now. As you can see, today we got up to 81 and our average high would be at about 72, getting pretty close to that record of 87 degrees. Now, if we take a look at our weather pic, you can see Stephen Bissett sent us in this beautiful fall picture as we finally got fall approaching. A lot of those trees out there are changing colors in those leaves, and it's very beautiful. This great picture just from a few days ago here in Norman. So if you have any weather pics, we would love to see them. Just find our Facebook page, uh, OU Nightly Weather Picks on Facebook, and we would love to see your pictures. Now, our lows for tonight going to be getting down to basically the 60s throughout the area. You'll see 66 here in Norman, and Guymon being our cooler spot, getting down to about 52 degrees. And then our highs for tomorrow, Summer is still sticking around as we've got 85 here in Norman and throughout the state, basically sitting at 85 throughout everywhere. It's going to be very warm and those winds are going to continue. But at least we're finally going to have a cool down here. If you look at your forecast map for Thursday, you'll see we've got this cold front that's going to be coming through by about midday Thursday <laughs> that will significantly drop our temperatures, dropping us to about 30 degrees from our high from Wednesday to our high on Friday. So we're finally going to have those cooler temperatures feeling more like fall and getting even more so light. Like winter. Now for tomorrow as those warm conditions still continue, see we're going to have another mostly cloudy day getting to about 66 degrees by 8 a.m. And again, very windy conditions out of the south southeast at about 15 to 20 miles per hour and gusting to 25. And then by noon, those winds are going to continue getting up to 78. And then by 5 p.m. we'll get up to about 84 degrees, very warm and still those mostly cloudy conditions. Now if you look at your five day forecast, you can see on Wednesday we've got that warm and windy conditions on Thursday. Going to cool down just a little bit as that cold front starts to come through throughout the day. You'll see falling temperatures throughout the day, topping us off at about 68 degrees. And then you'll see that low of about 46. And we do have just a 20% chance for showers. Not likely that we'll be seeing any rain out of this, but as the cold front does come through, we could see a few showers popping up around it. So definitely keep an umbrella handy tomorrow as you walk to class just in case. Now take a closer look at your five day forecast then, and you'll see on Friday, that's when our cooler temperatures are really going to hit us. You see that high of about 54 on Friday. Still very cloudy, so it's going to be very cold out there. And you can see those lows on Friday getting down to 36. And on Saturday, getting up to just 58 and the lows again to about 33 degrees. So we could hit the freezing mark this weekend. So definitely cover up your plants if you're worried about
about the frost and freezing on those. But basically, if you're going to be heading to the game on Saturday, it's going to be very cool. So you, everybody's going to make sure they bundle up, especially if you're like me and you're going to get in line and wait for the college game day. You're going to want to need a blanket and a sleeping bag and whatever you got to do mm -hmm. to stay warm Friday night into Saturday. It's, it's going to be very cold. I think that's how football season should be. Exactly. Yes, exactly. And the hot chocolate and your sweatshirt yes. on, it's great. I look forward to so it. So we know we can expect lots of sweaters and scarves uh, on the game this Saturday, but what can we expect from the Sooners, Carter? What can you tell us? Story, a big text spread faster than the fire itself. It seems like everybody knew about it before it even was done burning. I know. I'm from the north, so I didn't know much. But yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Katie, what's going on with the five-day? Well, I don't think we'll have any worries about fires. As you can see, it's going to be getting a lot colder if we take a look back at that five-day. That cold front's coming through on Thursday, giving us very cold conditions for the weekend. Well, thanks for watching OU Nightly, brought to you by the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. We'll see you back here tomorrow night live at 4.30. Have a great evening. Good night. So the spring weather has finally arrived and just in time for the Arbor Day celebrations today. That's right. Now I'm hoping that the nice conditions are going to last. Katie Western's in weather to tell us more. Katie. Yeah, guys, it's a pretty perfect Arbor Day out there. As you can see, the conditions right now, we're sitting in about the lower 70s throughout the state. You'll see 72 here in Norman, 68 down there in Ardmore, but even up to 74 over there in Lawton. So we've had very warm, very nice spring-like conditions. But hang on, because they're not going to last. Here's your Easter-themed headlines for this week. As you can see, storm clouds are going to hop on in through this weekend. And then that Easter basket is actually hiding some dry air that should arise on Easter Sunday. And then that cold air is going to hatch for your work week early night next week, but I'll give you the details on these, including your severe weather potential for this weekend. Plus, I'll have your Easter Sunday outlook coming up in my full forecast just a little bit later. Vanessa? Thank you, Katie. Katie Western, I know we're all excited about these warm temperatures today. Yeah, guys, the warmth has returned, but the storm clouds are approaching as it finally seems a little more like spring. I'll let you know if you can have those Easter egg hunts outside this weekend coming up in my full forecast after the break. Welcome back to OU Nightly. I'm Katie Western. Here's a look at the current temperatures here in Norman. You can see we're sitting at about 72 degrees, humidity at 53%, and those winds are a bit of a problem, gusting at about 21 miles per hour, but still it's a very warm, very more like a spring day out there, and we're actually a little bit above normal. If we take a look at our almanac, you can see we got up to 72 today. Our normal would be about 67, and even that low is just a little bit above normal there as well. But here's the problem. We haven't gotten any rain for a couple weeks now, so we're down about a little over two inches for the month, and we're down almost an inch and a half for the year. But thankfully, we do have quite a bit of rain in the forecast right now. But if we take a close look here for tonight, you can see we actually do have about a 30% chance of showers popping up throughout the state. Not too much to write home about, but we will be sitting at about the mid-50s throughout the state. You'll see 54 here in Norman. And then your highs for tomorrow, it's going to be another very warm day. Uh, upper 60s throughout the area, 68 here in Norman, and getting all the way up to about 70 degrees down there in Lawton and Ardmore. But we do have that chance for storms tomorrow. So let's take a look at our forecast map then. You can see, here's what we're talking about. It's this low pressure system down here that's giving us these rain and storms, and the stationary front that's actually cutting off over here in northwest Oklahoma. And so you can kind of see this dotted line, outlined area here. The whole state of Oklahoma is included in that, as we could see some pop-up showers throughout the day tomorrow. So let's take a close look then here in Norman, as you can see. By 8 a.m., we'll be at about 55 degrees, and then by noon, we'll get up to about 64. 5 p.m., we'll top it off at about 68, and you'll see at least we do have those fairly calm winds out of the south, but they will be just a little bit breezy, getting up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then we do have about a 50% chance of thunderstorms throughout the day. It's going to be more scattered showers, so you're not going to see those storms throughout the entire day. You just have that chance throughout the whole day, so just be aware that we could see a pop-up storm anytime throughout the day tomorrow. But then into Saturday, we're actually going to see some severe weather potential out of this system. Basically, for western Oklahoma into Kansas, some parts of Texas there are going to be under a slight risk issued by the Storm Prediction Center. Basically, all we're looking at here is maybe strong winds and maybe even some hail. Not really looking at a tornado risk out of this, but just be aware of the possibility of some stronger storms on Saturday. But 
it's going to clear out by your Easter Sunday. It should be nice. We're going to have those dry conditions as it clears out Saturday night. So you'll have basically getting up to almost 70 degrees on Sunday. Very nice. And we will have those calm winds, mostly cloudy conditions, but at least we should stay dry throughout the, at least the main portion of the day. So your Easter should turn out great. But take a close look then at your five-day forecast. You'll see we have lots of rain chances on there. Those chances tomorrow and on Saturday. Just a tiny bit on Sunday for your Easter, basically in the evening as that next system pushes through on Monday, cooling us down quite a bit, but we do have those rain chances, which should really help with our drought right now. All That's right, thanks, great. Katie. Thanks, Katie. Thanks for watching OU Nightly, brought to you by the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communications at the University of Oklahoma. We'll see you back here tomorrow live at 4.30. Have a great evening.